in Germany, it was a helium-cooled reactor. It was a dry bed, so all the pebbles were weighted downwards. Additionally, they drove in control rods from the top. If you can imagine, they crushed a lot of pebbles. Yeah. They didn't like round or blow, make a, like a nose cone? They or? did, but it's still a confined bed. There's not a whole lot of movement. All the pebbles were weighted under gravity, and it was just not a very um, smart system. But with our system, everything's um, buoyant, almost neutrally so. So the pebbles are very light, so to speak. With molten salt coolant, graphite is less dense than salt and floats. And therefore, fuel elements want to float. We realize that it might be an advantage that, pebble, that, that fuel floats if you have pebbles. Because in a salt-cooled reactor, you want to have the coolant in a vessel that has no openings around the bottom. That is a pool type of configuration, which means you don't want to take the fuel out from the bottom of the reactor, right? You want to take it from the top. You want to take it from the top. Gravity-driven control blades against the buoyancy um, with degrees of freedom on the bottom, the forces on these pebbles are much, much smaller.